iOS 18 is here top 10 best features and which iPhone support it. After teasing us for months with cryptic promises that iOS 18 would be its biggest ever update, June 10th's opening GiveWDC event really did make it seem like the hype was merited. Especially Ally, since the back half of the presentation was devoted entirely to AA, which the company has now termed Apple Intelligence, meant to supercharge the iPhone and the rest of the Apple lineup. In today's video, we're going to talk about iOS 18, the top 10 best features and which iPhone supported. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. Apple Intelligence At the 2024 Worldwide Developers Conference WWTC, Apple showcased its commitment to artificial intelligence and software improvements. One highlight introduction is Apple Intelligence, an ALE-driven feature set to enhance iOS 18, iPadOS, and MakeOS. Additionally, Apple's collaboration with open aid to integrate ChatGP features signifies a strategic move to enhance conversational abilities within its ecosystem. This aligns with the prevailing trend of AI adoption. For years, Siri's intelligence has been lacking. Users have had to baby her with canned phrases just to turn on their lights, which was an even bigger pain on the Apple Watch. Thankfully, the new supercharged Siri will better understand a user's voice and intentions. Siri will now remember previous conversational context and work with any app. Number 9. Home Screen Customization One of the new features of iOS 18 is giving more customization options for users to control their iPhone's home screen. For the first time, Apple allows users to freely arrange apps and widgets anywhere on the screen. This means you can drag and drop your favorite apps to preferred locations, even leaving blank spaces for a cleaner look. In addition to placement, iOS 18 also offers more app icon customization options. App icons can now be switched to a dark mode appearance and even have their colors adjusted to better match your wallpaper. These features provide a more personalized and visually appealing home screen experience. Number 8. Lock or hide away your sensitive apps. We all have sensitive apps and people who we don't entirely trust, so it only makes sense to limit what they can do when handing off our phone. The new app locking feature hides apps of your choice behind Face ID or your passcode. As a nice added privacy touch, locked app content will not show up in other areas of your phone, such as notifications and search, so an unsuspecting snoop won't be able to use any clever workarounds. You may need to go a step further by hiding an app too. Hidden apps will disappear from the home screen, and you'll only be able to access them from the hidden app folder in the app library. Number 7. Customize the control center for your needs. The control center has always been a strong point in favor of iOS. Accessing quick settings while watching, say, a YouTube video is super easy, but it suffers dearly from a lack of customization. You could go to settings to add or remove items, but that's about it. Cue iOS 18's complete redesign. First, the control center is now broken up into groupings. You can have your favorite everyday controls in the first section. Then, a swipe up reveals your media controls. Another swipe, your home control center. Rather than having to perform multiple swipes to get to the control grouping you want, one continuous, slow swipe will eventually take you there. Customization is the name of the game here. Hitting the plus button at the top left reveals new options to add, remove, relocate, or resize control widgets to taste. Those with the iPhone 15 Pro's action button can assign specific controls to a button press. Number 6. Better organize all your pics and photos. The iPhone Photos app was already great, so iOS 18 aims to both simplify and bulk up its feature set. First, the app gets a new unified view that combines for new albums and search with the familiar photo grid, so you can do everything from the first page. There's also a new filter button that lets you, say, ignore all your many, many screenshots. Collections now organize your photos into more helpful automatic categories such as photos taken on a specific day, with specific people, and for specific trips. If you want to share all the pictures from one collection, simply navigate to it and hit the share button. The people tab now also groups together those who appear most often in pictures, such as immediate family members. If you don't like any of that, you can set up your own pinned collections, effectively iOS 17's albums, the same way you are already used to. Number 5. Perfect your chats in a message. A message is fine as a basic messenger but it pales in comparison to feature-rich platforms like WhatsApp. 
In iOS 18, a message gets perhaps one of its biggest upgrades to date. Aside from RCS support for messaging Android users, we now have more comprehensive and versatile tapback reaction emojis, basic message formatting options like italics, and finally, the ability to schedule text messages with Send Later. That's right, your iPhone-wielding boss has no excuse to message you after hours with something that can be saved for tomorrow. Number 4. Streamline Mail and Safari Mail is a contentious app on iOS, especially since it doesn't support basic push notifications for Gmail and other providers. However, if you do use Mail, you'll be glad to know that Apple has included a bevy of new features common in other email apps. First, it intelligently organizes and separates your most important and time-sensitive emails from less pressing receipts and marketing. Tapping a specific category, such as primary for important emails and transactions for order confirmations, shows all emails from connected accounts related to that category. For multiple emails from a specific sender, you can use Digest View to get the rundown. Number 3. Go on Voice Guided Hikes Apple Maps is offering tons of useful features for commuters and casual users alike with this new update. Apple Watch got a useful topography feature for hikers with WatchOS 10, and now that feature is making its way to iOS 18, plus a few helpful touches. You can also download your favorite hikes offline, so you don't have to drain your phone's battery trying to get a weak cell signal in Mother Nature's backyard. If the hikes on the menu don't fit your preference, you can make your own custom walking routes iPhone users with a Mac can create those routes on the bigger screen first, then use them later with the iPhone. Number 2. Transcribe audio live in phone and notes. The Google Pixel turns some heads with its groundbreaking dictation capabilities. Its voice dictation accuracy was so good it could capture phone calls and meetings, then intelligently divide up the transcription speaker by speaker. This blew every other smartphone out of the water and to date has not been bested iOS 18 may change that although, once again, these are probably iPhone 15 Pro and above exclusive features. With the new update, you'll be able to transcribe a call live. The other party will receive an automated notification that they are being recorded in the interest of keeping things legal and fair. If you forget anything that was discussed, your phone will generate a helpful summary at the end. We can only hope this includes the option to transcribe voice messages and your answering machine at some point but those latter two features weren't announced. Number 1. Store your passwords in a new dedicated app Apple's native keychain feature had many good things going for it. It provided a seamless way to input passwords, 2FA codes, pass keys, and automatically check for reused or compromised passwords. Nothing fancy, but all the quintessential components of a good password manager. The only major problem was that while keychain is great, its lack of a dedicated passwords app is not. You had to tediously navigate into your settings to so much as copy a password for a specific website. Thankfully, you won't have to worry about that any longer, because Keychain is getting its own separate app, so you can access it with the same convenience as other password managers like Bitwarden, 1Password, and Dashlane. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up if you liked it. Your support helps me create more content. Leave a comment with your thoughts and suggestions. Thanks again. See you in the next video.